summer is upon us and whatever you have going on, a vacation, a staycation, a summer wedding, well, Macy's has you covered. If you need summer dresses, matching sets, volume sleeve tops, wedges, straw crafted bags. I mean, really, they have what you need head to toe. I'm talking Levi's, Dolce Vita, Lacoste, and more. So shop summer must-haves at Macy's. Go to Macy's.com slash own your style. Again, that's Macy's.com slash own your style. Host Nora McInerney is back for season two of The Head Start, Embracing the Journey, a podcast from Ruby Studio and AbbVie. In each episode, Nora has real conversations with real people living with chronic migraine to see how they took action to understand this disease. So jump into the conversation for season two, a show that creates a little more space for empathy and understanding in such a complicated world. There shouldn't be so much hesitation around asking questions and asking for help. So don't wait. Join the Head Start Embracing the Journey and learn a little more about life with chronic migraine. What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids to a classroom? Homes.com knows that these are all the things that you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. That's why each listing on Homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's all so you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. In every pair of Tacoba's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. Tacoba's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they're going to last a lifetime. The best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. Visit tacovas.com. That's T-E-C-O-V-A-S dot com. And don't go gently, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to The Fifth Thing. I'm here with Kat. This is the Amy and Kat chat. And every Tuesday, we start the episodes off with a quote. And I follow Mel Robbins on Instagram. Do you follow her? Okay, so originally I did follow her. Right now, I don't follow anybody, which we'll talk about. Oh, yeah. Okay, so next, next Tuesday week. on The Fifth Thing with Amy and Kat, we're going to be talking about Kat's social media experiment where yeah. she unfollowed everybody on Instagram, but so, she was still posting. I'm still posting. And Mel, I do love you. I just don't follow you on Instagram right now. Yeah, I would love to have Mel Robbins on yeah. the podcast yes. for like a Thursday Four mm-hmm. Things episode. But she posted a quote by Thomas Moffalo, which said, you need to ignore what everyone else is doing and achieving Your life is about breaking your own limits and outgrowing yourself to live your best life. You are not in competition with anyone else. Mm -hmm. Push to outdo your past, not other people. And some people, you might have needed that quote today, but I feel like sometimes I, I don't know that I see myself in competition with everybody else. Like I'm like, there's room for everybody. I saw this cute little girl, speaking of Instagram, doing this reel. She's like this maybe four or five years old, but she was doing one of those dubbed over where she's voicing over like a woman that's Mm -hmm. saying, and she was like in her robe with her hair done. Again, she's little makeup done. So it just, I mean, clearly her and her mom were maybe having some fun, but she looks in the camera and I'm paraphrasing, but she's like, I don't know about you, but I'm not in competition with anybody because there's room for everybody. And I just thought it was the cutest thing because I think that there's a healthy level of competition, but at the same time, we should be cheering each other on. Can I tell a story? Yeah. Okay. Probably like three years ago, one of my friends started running. She wanted to become a runner and I love to run. So I helped cheer her along the way. And then we signed up for this, I think it was like Labor Day, the 5K or 10K. I think we ran the 5K. And the goal was just to like get through it running the whole time. No pace, no time goal. We just wanted to like do it. So I ran with her um, and I stayed back with her the whole time, which I love encouraging my friends when they want to run because I just love to run and we get to enjoy it together. And we were towards the end. There was probably like maybe a mile, half a mile left. And there was a mom with a stroller and she had uh, like a probably four-year-old in there, four or five-year-old 
kid in the stroller and she's running with him and we're running beside her. And again, we're in the back. So there's a lot of people that are probably already done. And she's talking to her son the whole time. And I didn't have headphones in because I was running with my friend. And she like kind of stopped and slowed down. And she was like, hey, I don't remember what the kid's name was. She was like, hey, do you see how everybody is running at different paces and everybody's finishing at different times to her son? He was like, yeah, mom. And she was like, what I want you to see is that everybody right now is doing the best they can. And everybody's level of the best that they can do right now is different. And that's okay. And that's all she said. And I think her son was like, okay, mom. But I thought that was the coolest thing for somebody to be instilling in their four-year-old kid as they're running a race that is somewhat of a competition. But even that, it created this idea that me and my friend aren't running against the person who finished first. We were running against the goal that my friend had set. And that goal is just as valuable as the person who wanted to finish the race in 16 minutes. Yeah. No, I just thought I it was that. so sweet. I like almost started tearing up and then I was like, get it together. What I'm a special to moment to, to, you know, run up upon. And I'm yeah, I know. literally, and I'm like, I, that is, she's probably such a good mom. Oh man. Yeah. Um, well, I haven't done many races uh, ever since I hurt my knee running a marathon. I mean, after that, I got into triathlons and I did a few things, but I just, your, your running story made me think of the time that I did. A marathon and I was beating myself up because it took me longer than I had originally planned, but my knee was really hurt, but I was determined to keep going. But there was this old man running, carrying an American flag, like with yeah. a pole and that's heavy Yeah, and you're running and he beat me. And I was like... <laughs> Oh. But you weren't racing against him. No, yeah. oh. no, I just wanted to but there's finish like the people my that like, goal. That bounce the basketballs the whole race. Yeah. Like, have you seen that? People do wild things. But when you're doing that, you can't be like, oh, it doesn't matter what I'm doing because he's bouncing a basketball. It's right. Like, I no, you're still doing something. 21 at the yeah, time. Yeah. So I wasn't as mature in handling it. I felt kind of not, I was just felt defeated, even yeah. though, yeah, I wasn't racing the old man carrying the flag the whole way. But I was like, oh, why can't I be this? Or why can't I be like that person? Or look at all these other runners. And I'm in, you know, 3,576th place and it took me four and a half hours and I wanted it to take me or what? Why are you looking at me like that? Because that's still fast. I need to go look up my for sure, for sure time. I think I could Google it. But yeah, I was somewhere around there. Like Oprah, I remember her giving her marathon time, whatever it is, Oprah beat me with her time. She wasn't in the same race as me. It was just from like her marathon time. But I just was doing some negative self-talk, which really, if I had had a healthy mentality, there was nothing I should beat myself up about. Mm -hmm. I had done something that I set out to do and I completed it. So yay. But negative self-talk puts us in a different mindset when we can reverse it. Like I do that a lot too, where I say, and I don't know the damage that I'm doing by saying it because I don't mean any harm, but I often will do something and mess up and think or say to myself, oh, you're so stupid. And I don't want to do that Mm -hmm. because I know that I'm not. It's just my go-to response. And I don't want my kids to hear me say, oh, I'm so stupid because I would never want them to just call themselves stupid for no reason. Although I have heard that type of rhetoric from them in one way or another. And as a parent, you immediately want to go into, no, you're not. So I just want us as adults to recognize when we're doing it to ourselves. And I I actually saw a little article that shared some self-talk phrases, like negative self-talk phrases that you can like reverse for like a healthier mindset. So I thought we could go over those if you want to. Let's do it. In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. A great pair of Western boots will elevate a casual look or add a refined flair that'll draw both eyes and compliments. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they will last a lifetime. Now, the best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. They also offer custom branding and leather stamping if you want to personalize your boots or fine leather goods. And stay cool in a short sleeve moisture wicking pearl snap. Or make your own shade with one of their classic straw hats, new in both men's and women's styles. 
And if you're planning to hit the road, Tacova's ever-growing lineup of rugged and full-grain leather bags will get you where you're headed in style, and they are built to last decades. Visit Tacovas.com. That's T-E-C-O-V-A-S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. I don't want to waste my time taking vitamins that aren't really going to do much for me. Like, I want research. I want to know, like, hey, this is actually doing something for my body. And Ritual knows this. That's why they conducted the research. They've done clinical trials on their Essential for Women 18 Plus multivitamin. The results... Well, it increased vitamin D levels by 43% and omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in just 12 weeks. And as a woman, I want healthy vitamin D levels and omega-3 levels. And all I got to do is take my Ritual Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin every morning. I take them on an empty stomach, but sometimes if I forget, I may take them in the afternoon. It's really up to you when you want to take them. There's nine key nutrients in two delayed release capsules. And what the delay release capsules does for us is it optimizes our body's absorption of these nutrients. It's gentle on the empty stomach. Like I said, I can take it first thing in the morning and I'm totally fine. And with a minty essence in every bottle, it actually makes taking your vitamins enjoyable. No more shady business. Ritual is essential for women. 18 plus is a multivitamin that you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month at ritual.com slash four things. Start Ritual or add Essential for Women 18 Plus to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash four things for 25% off. From searching online to asking your friends and family, there are a lot of ways to look for jobs. But have you considered finding your next job through a staffing company? Your local Express Employment Professionals team is your one connection to endless job opportunities. With just one application, they can help you find a job at a company that fits your needs. Visit ExpressPros.com. And as always, Express never charges job seekers a fee. Express knows when companies are hiring, offers benefits and competitive pay. And in just one interview, they are prepared to present you to multiple companies who fit your needs. Express Employment Professionals places people in all kinds of jobs, including everything from customer service to warehouse jobs to accounting and IT roles. Let Express help you. And remember, there is never a fee for job seekers. Go to expresspros.com to get started and discover for yourself what it's like to have support in your job search. You can also start through the Express Jobs app. Download it today to search jobs, apply, and contact your local Express office. All right, you got to love a place that makes shopping for gifts super easy because heads up, Father's Day is June 16th and Macy's has got you covered. Their ultimate gift guide makes shopping for the dad or the dad figure in your life super easy. You can shop by price, 25 and under, 15 and under, 100 and lux. You can shop by category, like cologne, watches, leather goods. You can even shop by gift lists. Like if your dad loves to grill, then shop for grill master things. If your dad loves to golf, then you can go to the gift list that is for the golfer. I mean, really, Macy's has thought of it all. If you have a tech-savvy dad, voila, Macy's Gift Finder, again, has you covered with that. Top gifts include Beats headphones, JBL portable speakers, Nintendo Switch, and more. Top brands such as Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Polo Ralph Lauren, Columbia, and more. Really, Macy's has it all, so don't be a last-minute shopper. Father's Day is June 16th. Make sure to check out Macy's.com slash gift finder to find a unique gift they'll love. Okay, so instead of I'm an idiot, which mine is, I'm so stupid, we could try saying I'm not understanding this right now. You may have to reword it to work whatever you're doing or if you mess up or something, be like, oh, wow, I just had an opportunity to learn something here. Yeah, and I feel like that actually, I mean, I think I call myself dumb that that's the word that I use. But I've been thinking that about that a lot because I don't know a lot of things about a lot of things. But there are some things that I know a lot about. Like, I'm not very good at math. But that doesn't mean that I'm dumb because I don't understand geometry. That means that, like, that's not my gift and my gift is somewhere else. And I think we generalize things of, like, because I don't understand this right now, that means X. When really it's like, it doesn't have to mean that yeah. at all. I'm going to go through a yeah. list of all of these. I'm okay. sure we'll have thoughts about all of them. But yeah, you're you're right. And I think a lot of parents, if you're a parent listening to this, you have to ever help your kid with homework. That'll make you feel <laughs> D-U-M-B real quick. <laughs> 
Uh, see, I can spell too. Uh, but it does, especially yeah. that math that gets me. And yeah, I'm like, wow, why, how, why, why is this confusing to me? Why can't, why can't I, I do, I do seventh grade math? But yeah, I have other yeah. strengths and right. I don't need to call myself stupid because of it or dumb or an idiot or anything like that. Another negative self-talk phrase mentioned in this article was instead of saying to yourself, I should be, I'm going to insert, it says blank right now. It could be whatever, but like, I should be working right now. Cause we always feel this pressure of like, I should be doing this right now. You could try saying to yourself, I could be working right now, but I'm choosing to do this instead. I'm choosing to maybe sit and do nothing instead, because maybe that's what you need at the moment. And that's okay. Or I'm choosing to watch the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion when maybe I could be reading a book. But did Erica know? That's what we want to know. Did you watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Oh my goodness. I tried to watch the documentary you told me to watch and I couldn't find it. The Housewife and the Hustler. What is it on? Hulu. Hulu's not working on my TV right now for some reason. Oh, weird. We'll figure it out. Yeah, figure that out. Because that's also where I watch all Real Housewives everything. But don't beat yourself up for it. I mean, there's a, you can't just use this as an excuse for yourself all the time. But I think that there's this, pressure sometimes to always be hustling when speaking of housewife and the hustler and we need to back off of that there's nothing that says besides society <laughs> that we need to be doing x y and z all the time and trying to prove to people that we're look at me look what i'm doing yeah. i'm we're so so what you're you're talking about what we like to call in the therapy world shooting on yourself yeah Shooting, like, I should, stop shooting on yourself. Right, like I should be doing this. I should be doing that. I should be doing whatever. And, and if you sit back and you're like, well, who said that? Who said that you should be doing that? Mm -hmm. You or certain you, people you follow online Yeah, that make you feel, which can we talk about Instagram for a second too? Like you're getting everybody's highlight reel. Just felt the need to remind that to anybody because yeah. sometimes I need that reminder yeah. of everybody is going through stuff, but you're not seeing it. Mm -hmm. I look at my own life, for example, and there's stuff I'm not putting on Instagram because it's not for public consumption. And also like nobody's just, well, some people might be, but like you're going to get less people who are like, oh, it's just me watching Real Housewives versus somebody posting about this great grand thing they did. Mm -hmm. So we all are doing that. We're just not telling you about it. Love it. Okay, next one is instead of it's all my fault, try saying I played a part in this situation and I'm only responsible for my own decisions and actions. I love that. Yeah. I think that we can often insert the all or nothing mm -hmm. rhetoric, mm -hmm. which is never healthy. Mm -hmm. I can even use myself as an example here where if I was having an argument with my husband, I might say, because I'm being reactionary, you always do this. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if I were to back up, does he really always mm -hmm. do that? Or I could say that about myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, why are you always so stupid? Back to the first one. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, am I always mm -hmm. not understanding this right now? <laughs> Which is the replacement for stupid. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just think that that's something that, that we can often do is that really all or nothing mentality. Mm -hmm. I think there's so much power in realizing that we don't have that much power. So when we say it's all my fault, that's saying that we have like all of this power to like make or break all these things when really it's a combination of like the world. Yeah. You know? And we play a role yeah. in that. We have a role. But then at the end of the day, we're all in charge of our own lane yeah. and somebody else was possibly in their lane contributing mm -hmm. to whatever. Yeah. Doesn't mean you have to carry the weight. And I think that even too, sometimes in unhealthy situations, like if, if you're not in a great place, you might be taking the blame on yourself for things. If you didn't have blinders on, you would realize, oh, wow, none of this is, this is not my, my stuff. fault. This is not my issue. This is not my lane. Mm -hmm. I am not in my hula hoop. I'm giving my therapy talk here, <laughs> but like literally I've been in a therapist yeah. office where I've stood inside of a hula hoop to give me that visual of like, this is my hula hoop. Mm -hmm. This is your hula hoop mm -hmm. and yours and yours and yours. And we all have our own hoops and we all have our own lanes mm -hmm. and we are 100% responsible for ours. Our, like if you're in a relationship, a lot of people say 50-50, but it's like, okay, well, you're 100% responsible for your 50% of the relationship. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that means that there's someone else making up that 50%. So something can't be 
totally all your fault. And I'm sure you could find an example. We're not talking about all things in life, but just like this casual rhetoric of throwing around and getting used to saying things like all or nothing Mm -hmm. talk Mm -hmm. we need to be aware of Mm -hmm. and at least try to pull back on. So instead of, I never should have, try saying, if that hadn't happened, I. So I guess regret, that's like a a regret conversation and that can fuel negative self-talk when we mistake hindsight for something we could have predicted. Beating yourself up for what you did in the past will only make you feel bad in the present. So try to learn the lesson and move forward with that knowledge. So instead of saying, I never should have, you can say, if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't know what I know now. I like that because that's not saying like you can't be sad or upset or whatever. It's, it's saying like, yeah, this didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. And look what I learned. Exactly. The anxiety can around some stuff or what is it? The the past, when you think too much about the past and the future, Mm -hmm. that's where anxiety can live. Mm -hmm. And we just have to focus on the present. Where, I, where, I am, where now. am I right now, one day at a time? We cannot change what happened in the past. We cannot predict what's going to happen in the future. So if we live in the past of like, oh, I never should have done that, da, 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 then well, we, you miss, did. we miss out on so much we because did. we're stuck there yeah. and we're probably having anxiety about uh, beating ourselves up yeah. about it. And then if we have more of a mindset of like, okay, if that had never happened, then I would not know this. You know, I don't know if I already told this story on here, but I learned that lesson from a lawyer because something happened and I had called a lawyer and I was talking about what happened and she said, okay, I'm going to stop you. She said, we can't go back and change what you did. You already did it. It's already done. So all we can do is focus on how do we take what what happened and move forward with it? What needs to be the next step we make? Because you talking about how you shouldn't have done this isn't really using your time well and you're paying me basically by the minute. And you learn from it, right? (laughs) Yeah. Oh my gosh. Did I learn from it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next one is instead of they must think I'm blank, try their actions are just their actions, nothing more or less. Like assuming people think negatively of you, which I often do that results in you beating yourself up over a perceived idea. Remember Mm -hmm. that those are just thoughts not facts. And over time, they can reshape how you think of yourself. Mm -hmm. And that makes me think of something you say often, Kat, is what are the facts? Mm -hmm. All you can do is work off the facts. Mm -hmm. And unless you're a mind reader, what you're thinking that someone else is thinking about you is not a fact. Mm -hmm. I'm so bad at this. I'm just going to say I am so bad about, I don't know, it is so ingrained in me Mm -hmm. to think that people are thinking the worst of me. There's two things in that. One if they are thinking something negative, okay, then we can go down that road of, okay, what does that mean? And let's talk about why that's important. The other thing is, what is it about you or them or the world or your relationship with that person that makes you think that all of their behaviors, and we talk, we've talked about this on here, their facial expressions and their this is about you when they are living their own life with their own stuff that you cannot see. And that eye roll might have nothing to do with you. Like what about your relationship makes you automatically think that that's you? Right. I know. And I'm I'm 100% guilty of that. Yeah. Like all the time. I what did to, I do? Yeah. What did I do? What am making it about me? And I know, but I mean, sometimes honestly it might be, but yeah. if you're in a healthy enough place, then you can have a conversation yeah. and say, hey, just What's the first part in, of like, like, what if that is you? What if that is what they're thinking? What, what Okay, well, let's, we can talk about that. And then the other thing is, well, there's a really, really big possibility that has nothing to do with you. And so what would it be like to realize that maybe you're not that important yeah. in that scenario? Mm-hmm. Rebuilding that neuro pathway for me yep. has been yeah. really difficult for me, for sure. And now to put a bow on this whole conversation, the last one I'm going to end with kind of goes back to the quote that we shared at the beginning, which is, instead of saying to yourself, why can't I be like them? Which I think might be a common thing, especially speaking of scrolling through Instagram, of why can't my life be like that. Mm -hmm. Try saying, wow, they're doing so well and there's enough good to go around for all of us. So when you compare yourself to others, you're telling yourself that you're not good enough in some sort of a way. So rather than try to measure yourself against them, try celebrating the things that you love about them and things that you love about yourself. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. Tie that bow. I hope that this little Kat and Amy chat is helpful for you. Um, We're trying to make these 
you know, short and sweet to the point. Mm -hmm. If y'all ever have questions for me or for Kat and you want it to be featured in the fifth thing, then send us emails. Four things with Amy Brown at gmail.com. Put fifth thing in the subject line and you never know when your email might pop up on one of these episodes. Just like today, we didn't reference an email. We do we do have emails that we'll be using in future episodes, but you never know what we're, we're going to talk about. Might give you some little tools to keep in your back pocket and you can find Kat on Instagram. She is at cat.defada. And then Kat, where else can we find you? Well, you can find Uni Therapy Podcast at at Uni Therapy Podcast on Instagram. And, and then really search where You Need Therapy Podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Yeah, that's where I am. And then if y'all have yet to rate and review Four Things with Amy Brown or You Need Therapy Podcast, we dare you to do it. <laughs> Dare you, I dare you to rate Double and dog dare you. Then you I, have to do it. I dare you to put five stars. <laughs> I dare you to write a nice comment. But also with that said, if you have constructive criticism that you would like to send our way, you can send it in the email. <laughs> you don't need to post yeah. it on the, nope, don't need to do that. Don't need to put it in the comments. Like it's just not necessary. That would be awesome. Guys. Yeah, that way we can work on it. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like, to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting Banana Boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids SPF 50 plus, this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they're going to last a lifetime. The best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. Visit tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. All right, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's a simple truth that no matter who you are, mental health challenges can affect you, and how you manage them can really make all the difference. That's why everyone should have access to mental health support that meets them where they are and helps them get through things. Now, BetterHelp provides online therapy on your schedule. It's flexible, simple to use, and more affordable than in-person therapy. Connect with a licensed therapist selected just for you. Learn more at BetterHelp.com. That's BetterHelp.com. BetterHelp.com. Are you feeling overwhelmed by anxiety, struggling to find restful sleep, or plagued by a restless inability to focus? It's time to break free from the chains of mental health challenges and discover a path to healthy living. Welcome to Amen University, founded by renowned psychiatrist and brain health expert, Dr. Daniel Amen. Dr. Amen, alongside a team of esteemed doctors and experts in their fields, understands the struggles you're facing and are here to offer solutions. From debilitating anxiety to sleepless nights filled with worry, our courses are meticulously crafted to target these specific challenges head on. Join us on a journey of transformation led by Dr. Amen and a roster of top tier professionals. Say goodbye to the constant battle with your mind and embrace a future filled with hope and possibility. Visit our website today to explore our courses and start your journey towards a brighter tomorrow. Use code BRAIN10 and get 10% off. That's code BRAIN10 and get 10% off your first purchase. Amen University, because your mental health matters.